Hello there and welcome to the clinic. So today I'm going to show you some optical equipment that we use in practice to help you relax, sleep and to generate some quality ASMR. So the first trigger I've managed to find some apertures from the trial lens set. The first aperture is the occluder which can slide into the trial frame to block the vision in one eye for when we're performing a monocular vision test or refraction. The second trigger is the pinhole which again slides into the trial frame for checking central vision it cuts out all the peripheral distractions and focuses the light just on the macula for central vision checking and we have a plan out trial lens just a zero powered plan out lens there So something you may find in the trial lens set or close by are the occluders, handheld occluders. So we have this black one here, blocking one eye, performing a cover test. We also have the C Bivision occluder with a multitude of functions. We can check the pupil size. We have a little millimeter scale there for checking ocular dimensions and lid specifics. We have a scale there as well. And we have the occlusion element, the occlusion element. And we also have the Shamir occluder, the Shamir handheld occluder there, which comes with an Amsler chart. Here's the Amsler chart for checking for any distortion at the central vision areas. And with some little pinholes for checking pinhole vision again. We also have measuring scales there for things like pupillary distance, PD, vertical heights, iris diameters there, and also some apertures there, little apertures there, and maybe checking pupil size. Excellent. So moving on, we have the contact lens cases here lens cases. I have two to show you there. They make very relaxing sounds. So your solution and contact lens will go in there, stored overnight. The second contact lens case is slightly deeper. It's also marked up right and left for you. There is your storage pot for contact lens and solution. This is the handheld illuminated magnifier to assist with your reading and glass work. So you have your light source here shining on the page. And extra lighting will help. Moving 
going to a different area. We have an eye care tonometer here for checking your intraocular pressure. It is a form of contact tonometry. So we place the probe in there. It magnetizes and we can check your pressure with a click of a button. probes are disposable and they come in a case like this a case of tonometer probes we also have another tonometry device for checking intraocular pressures here we have the Perkins tonometer. The Perkins tonometer. Starting at the top, we have the headrest. We have the viewing portal here. It's the viewing portal. We have a tonometer probe in place there. And the batteries are housed in the base and you have your pressure dial here so that is the Perkins tonometer we also have a retro version which is very similar Let's, as I should have mentioned on the previous one, you have your blue light source here. That gives off a cobalt blue light. Okay, the headrest. The probe, the emission of the blue light, and the viewing portal there. So this is a much older model than the previous. You have your scale here and your wheel for determining the intraocular pressure of the eye which is associated with glaucoma and we place the batteries in there at the base excellent something else you may also find in the trial lens set where the apertures were found is the adjustable flipper lenses so depending on the patient's PD we can adjust the distance between the lenses you have two positive lenses at the top and two negative on the reverse side clearer with the lenses without clear with set one or set two very good for doing reading additions when you're checking the prescription those are the flipper lenses we also have the jackson cross cylinder for checking and refining your astigmatism which in layman's terms we say rugby ball shaped eyes so that is the cross cylinder with this beautiful handle that's been knurled for optimum grip there is the knurled handle there met him many times but he always likes to make an appearance and it's good for demonstration purposes this is the model I for showing your students and pupils the anatomy of the eye so 
So we do separate, which I'm not going to do today. As you can see, you can show people the cornea, the iris and the pupil, the sclera, and we have the extra ocular muscles here and here. At the rear, you have the optic nerve, which travels to the brain. Vortex lines and your arteries piercing the optic nerve there. There we have the three layers of the eye. You have the retinal, choroidal and the scleral. Three tunics of the eye there. So that is the model eye. So I have the Rattan filter here when we're checking for any corneal staining in conjunction with the fluorescein dye. So that is the Bosch and Lump Rattan filter there. Perfect to use with the slit lamp. Some people benefit from coloured overlays. I have this selection of coloured overlays, depending on which colour will suit you best and allow you to read more comfortably. So that is the selection of coloured overlays. also important to mention that you have a little line here as I like to call the tracking bar to allow you to remain where you want to remain so you may place this just under the row of text you're reading to help maintain concentration fixation and gaze We also have a uncut bifocal lens within the packaging here. Let's open it up and have a look. Ah yes, and here you have your uncut D segment bifocal lens ready to be glazed into a spectacle frame. You have your distance portion at the top. And your reading portion at the bottom. So it serves as a dual viewing purpose lens for distance and near. Distance and near. And we also have this 20 diopter double aspheric lens housed in this beautiful wooden case for ocular viewing. So let's have a look at the lens. So here's the 20 diopter double aspheric lens often used in conjunction with the indirect head mounted of the armoscope for viewing the back layer of the eye, the retina, be able to see the optic nerve, the macula and the peripheral zones with the 20 diopter lens there. You'd have to adjust the working distance of course to obtain optimum focus. also have the zippy bag of ocular goodies here. Let's have a look what 
what's inside. So inside the case we have an array of fixation sticks to make your eye test fun and intriguing. That is the first one. stick there with the tortoise. We have the budgie or parakeet. We have the police officer there saying hello. We also have a miniature vision chart on the reverse side. And we have a tumbling E vision chart where you'll say whether the object is pointing up, down, left or right. And we also have a small section of N5 print there to read. A small section of N5 print. We have the groovy flower and another fixation stick. The bumblebee. A small section of text and a cross and spot fixation target just follow the cross excellent and we also have the on the final fixation stick a little chart here for fixation we have the koala bears playing and having fun we have the elephant uh, and some more Plain fixation targets there. Good. And also lurking in the bag we have a pen torch that we press down here to activate the circuit. So we can use this for checking your pupils with their constrictions to the light. Utility test by checking ocular movements. Excellent. And we also have a second pen torch here, which gives us a solid yellow light. A solid yellow light. Good. Okay, moving on. We have an array of vision charts. We have these here. So these are the Stikar K cards. smaller and on the reverse side we have a few scales here which we can use to take some spectacle measurements such as angles of sides and lens sizes Very useful chart there. We have the star car chart here, presenting one letter at a time. scales for checking ocular health. We have the J&J computerized 
clinical grade in scale here. Have a look at bulbar redness, limbal redness, lid redness, roughness, corneal staining, and looking for any meibomium gland dysfunction there. On the other side, we have a little guide for performing some slit lamp techniques. And shows you what you're looking for. There. We also have the grading zones on the front surface and under the lid. Also have some ocular health segments there for further reading. For further reading. We have the CCLRU grading scale here. These are actual images. If you prefer, rather than the computerized images. Same thing as pretty much as the grading scale. We can also check the depth of corneal staining and a final bit at the bottom for conjunctival staining. Conjunctival staining. Also have some grading information here and a little bit about ocular pathology. Just located another vision chart here. Have a little look at this vision chart housed in this paper. We also have a contrast sensitivity test to determine your ability to discriminate between an object and its background. We have the MacuShield glare test here. So as we go along in clockwise order, you just say by each number the shape you see and that determines your contrast score there. Excellent to perform if you have cataracts or any other ocular condition which may affect your contrast sensitivity. Okay, we also have a miniature handheld visual field test. This is the red dot perimetry chart. The red dot perimetry chart so as you're looking at the black spot in the center we ask are all the red dots present if some are missing which ones are bits of the red dots missing and where do all the surrounding dots look equally red if not which ones look brighter or washed out and then you cover the other eye and we perform the same test okay. so we're going to move on to some of the bulkier items in the clinic So we have the Burton lamp here, the Burton lamp, we have your light sources here, we have your on and off switch, and the differentiator between the white and the blue light, so we 
just look at the patient through the viewing portal there as it's illuminated and white light for ocular health and the blue light with this test is particularly good in conjunction with the fluorescein for looking at your hard contact lens fit so that is the Burton lamp there we also have another handheld device this time for checking your vision so we have the animal pictures there the land old sea similar to the tumbling e-test just rotating a vision test in Urdu and Punjabi Hindi there and English and we also have the peak we have the red green test with some letter charts and we can ask the patient are the letters clearer on the red or the green side there clearer on the red or the green also have a wonderful glasses storage case here it has a felt base beautiful wooden exterior your two hinges on the back there your two hinges storing and displaying spectacles I have six storage bays there Excellent. okay and we have one more piece of optical equipment to help you relax You may have seen these before in other productions by SRP. But we have this lovely leather case with beautiful stitching around the borders. We have a hinge joint at the base here, or at the rear. And inside we have one of the favourite triggers, the prison bars. Can you see the prison bars there? Protected, housed with this lovely red velvet inlay. Okay, let's have a look at the prison bars. So we have a vertical prism bar here, ranging from 1 to 25 diopters. So obviously we'll perform this one vertically. And we can use this to help increase the patient's ocular comfort if they have a binocular vision problem or for eliminating any double vision known as diplopia. The vertical prism bar there, and then prism can be prescribed in spectacles. And the final one we have the horizontal prism bar here, ranging from 1 to 45 prism diopters. sure all the optical equipment 
is going to join me in saying thank you for coming thank you for watching and i'll see you all again next time sleep well